What's up guys, back in my dorm room. I just got back from dropping off my piranhas for good. It's kind of sad because I just have this empty tank and I definitely miss the piranhas and I feel like there's just, there's a gap in my heart, man. So uh, I think I have an idea of what I might want to put in here, but I'm going to be heading to just Pets, which is a local fish store here in Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, and we're gonna be picking out some new fish for my 15 gallon freshwater aquarium. All right, let's do it. The weather outside is really bad. I don't know, it might just be the, the curse of the piranhas. They don't want me to get new fish. Yeah. It's back to being green out, which is nice, but this rain, bruh, is just killing me. They're like the cutest thing ever. But I've had a couple people that have marine green spot hovers at about six inches, and they get that big. So how long would th three of these last in a 15 gallon? I mean, at least three years. Guaranteed. Three years? At least. Oh, okay, three then years. we're good. Yeah. You just gotta make sure it's brackish. That's it. Brackish meaning it's brackish water. Like, so like a saltwater tank is 1.025, and yep. these guys are like 1.12. 1.12. Yeah. Bottom out, you'd be looking at like an 06. I wouldn't want to be going past an 06. So 6 to 12. And so, okay, well then I mean, I, have, I guess I'll still get three of these then. If it takes three years, yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, okay, cool. I, I got mine for about three years. They double in size. Though. Are they aggressive? Yes. Oh, that's good. Yes. Because they're replacing my piranhas. Okay, absolutely. So, they feed them anything. They eat anything. Anything. Yes, yeah. let's go. This is the perfect replacement. They're pretty much mini piranha. You stick your hand in there right now, they're gonna grab all the flesh hoppers. And it doesn't feel good. <laughs> I've been bit okay, by so great spots. If you really look at it, they're almost more aggressive because piranha are just so skittish. Something that's gonna take off on you and be more afraid versus something that I'm literally putting my hand in the tank and they're coming to me. It's more than a piranha. <laughs> oh God. It'll eat any kind of community fish you can really get a hold of. I'm telling you, you're gonna be you're gonna be a star. You're gonna yeah. be a huge hit. <laughs> um, word of advice: freeze dried krill. Some people recommend freeze dried krill to be able to feed them. Do not overfeed freeze dried krill because you'll notice that they can get lockjaw because of the actual coloring in the freeze dried krill. It's fun to feed. It's easy to feed. It's cheap and effective, but I don't recommend it because it'll kill them off. Because you'll notice that the entire structure, the muscles of the mouth, will just kind of lock together, and then they won't be able to eat. So don't do freeze dried krill. The storm got worse. Really nice guy, super helpful. And every time I've gone in there since he started working there, the store has been looking better and better. So thank you, Mr. Brady. <laughs> Okay, so apparently these green little puffers like brackish water, uh, which is no problem for me. You know me, I like salt. I like turtles. I'm used to salt water tanks. So I just took out a little bit of fresh water and we're gonna be adding some salt water into the tank to make it a little saltier. I also got them a bunch of plants for the tank because these are my babies now. I want them to live in a nice cool home. So I got them some green things. Don't know what their names are. They're all here. Horn war, guppy grass, pelia. I don't know what any of these mean. They all sound like the different programs at Hogwarts. Harry Potter, you've been chosen for horn wart. Harry Potter. Uh, I need to do a quick water change first 
to bring up the salinity on this tank. Uh, to do that, we're going to be using Fritz Aquatics Aquarium Salt. This is what I use in all my saltwater tanks. And from what Brady told me at the store, uh, I'm good to use marine salt. Everybody makes fun of me for using uh, a hydrometer, but honestly, this one has never failed me, so. Guys, I'm starving, so while they acclimate, I'm gonna go to dinner. Get in my belly! So while I was at dinner, I ran into... Rudy! What up? And uh, Rudy, if you didn't know, what was your first freshwater fish? My first freshwater fish was the green spotted puffer. I got six of them in a... 10 gallon tank off of Craigslist, so the guy didn't really know what he was doing, but I had to kind of learn on my own and figure things out. But he knows exactly what he's doing. Now he does, at least. So uh, I told him to come over and uh, help me put in these little guys, these little green spot puffers. Time for acclimation. 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 Yeah, these guys are awesome though. Learn who you are, know that you're the one who feeds them, beg for food all the time. I'd say that would be the number one thing is don't overfeed them because they'll just eat until they explode. <laughs> <laughs> What's your plan for uh, keeping their beaks trimmed? Yeah, dude, so Brady, the guy at the store was telling me about this, but yeah, apparently their teeth can outgrow their bodies, right? Yeah, they're, if you don't give them something hard to eat like clams or snails or something, their beaks will just grow until they can't even open their mouth and eat it all and then you have to Try to give them surgery, and that's a whole yeah. other ordeal. Why are they called beaks and not teeth? Because they're literal beaks. I mean, they're just they're a bunch of fused together teeth, basically. One big tooth on the top, one big tooth on the bottom, like a beak. <laughs> I literally use nail clippers to cut its beak. Yeah. To shorten it. That's nuts. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Dude, I might have to go full dentist mode on these guys. <laughs> it's something that can happen pretty fast. Within like a couple of weeks or a month, their beaks can overgrow and they won't be able to eat. So, yeah, so to my knowledge, they're born in freshwater streams, like more inland. And as they mature, they move down, or I guess whatever direction towards the ocean, across the saltwater gradient until they're in full saltwater. So freshwater to brackish to saltwater. Green spotted puffers are more aggressive than piranhas because piranhas, when you put your hand in the tank, they're actually more skittish and scared. Versus these guys will come and like pick oh, at your will, hand. I've definitely gotten bit by one. They have they have drawn blood from my fingers before. If I'm just I remember a couple of times actually I'd be scraping algae off the tank or doing a quick little vacuum of the substrate and they would just come up and give me a little peck. Yeah, they they can be little devils. They're they're like dogs though. Honestly, yeah, yeah, they they are like dogs. They say puffer fish can see 30 feet out of the tank actually. So, I mean, the second you walk in, they see you and recognize you right away. Let's go. That's Ronald. I don't know if you guys knew that, but this is Ronald. <laughs> Got them some plants. Time to put in the plants to complete their new home. Yeah, none of these are like, none of these are rooted Yeah, plants. I was about to say, I don't know where they're going to root. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure to get all like free floating. They're going to go nuts, they're going to want to tear it up. These are all good for brackish. A significant number of live aquatic plants can withstand water ranging from barely brackish to mildly brackish, so 04 to 08, so perfect. Okay. It's like a third of that of like full salt water. So yeah, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about names, I'm thinking about Kirby, Furby, and then Fergie. Hit it, Fergie! Dude, it's a mouth. It's a mouthful. <laughs> a little confusing, but I like it. It's a tongue twister, but. We go back and watch the Bucks game. Congrats on your new little uh, puppy fish. And best of luck. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks, dude. I will. Actually, I really appreciate that. Of course. And uh, as always, Bucks and six. Oh, Bucks and five. Yeah. It's, o it's over tonight. Hi, right, Rudy. Take thanks, bro. Rudy out. <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> you go that way. That way, then you take the elevator down. <laughs> All right, peace. Yeah. All right guys, that does it for this video. I'm super excited about my new little baby puffers. These guys are incredible. Um, so yeah, I'll give you guys an update on them in the next video. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.